Exercise 5.1, problem number 5. Evaluate del of 1 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 by taking 1 as the interval of difference. Okay. So we compute del of this equation. So we have to apply the del of f of x so the forward difference operator formula by taking 1 1 is the height so h equal to 1 as the interval of difference solution by using the partial fraction method 1 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 first we take this function so is equal to a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2 which is equation number 1. So the all numerator can be multiplying throughout by x plus 1 into x plus 2 in the equation number 1. So the denominator can be multiplying by throughout in the numerator. So x plus 1 into x plus 2 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 which is equal to a into x plus 1 into x plus 2 by x plus 1 b into x plus 1 into x plus 2 by x plus 2 so these two terms are cancelled again x plus 1 x plus 1 cancel x plus 2 x plus 2 cancel so 1 equal to a into x plus 2 is b into x plus 1 so uh, we compute uh, a and b by applying the trial and error method so put x equal to minus 2 so we put x equal to minus 2 automatically a value become 0 we compute b value so 1 equal to a into 0 b into minus 2 plus 1 1 equal to this time is 0 so b into minus 1 Imp implies b equal to minus 1 again try to make b is make it as 0 so we have to put x equal to minus 1 so put x equal to minus 1 1 equal to a into minus 1 plus 2 plus b into minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so 1 equal to a into minus 1 which implies a equal to 1 so we have to take this expression a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2 which implies the place of a equal to a is 1 so 1 by x plus 1 and b value is minus 1 so we have to apply b is minus 1 so 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 2 again we have applied del del of 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 2 so del is multiplying on both terms so first one is del of 1 by x plus 1 minus again del of 1 by x plus 2 which is equation number 2 so first we have to compute del of 1 by x plus 1 after that we have to compute del of 1 by x plus 2 so we have to subtract these two equations we will get the final answer so first we have to take find from equation number 2 find del of 1 by x plus 1. So del of 1 by x plus 1 means del of f of x. So we have to apply the forward difference operator formula. So del of f of x equal to f of x plus h minus f of x. So f of x is already known. f of x is 1 by x plus 1. So f of x is 1 by x plus 1. f of x plus h is equal to f of x plus height value is already given x height value is 1 so x can be replaced by x plus 1 in the place of x so 1 by x can be taken as x plus 1 so x in the place of x we have to take x plus 1 plus 1 so 1 by x plus 2 
so del of 1 by x plus 1 which is equal to function of x plus 1 minus f of x so function of x plus 1 is x plus 2 1 by x plus 2 minus uh, f of x value is 1 by x plus 1 is equation number 3 again from equation number 2 find the other one del of 1 by x plus 2 applying in the same formula for a difference operator del of f of x equal to f of x plus h minus f of x so f of x is already known so f of x value is 1 by x plus 2 so again f of x plus h equal to f of x is fixed height value is 1 so in this in this x can be replacing by x plus 1 so 1 by x can be replacing as x plus 1 plus 2 so value is 1 by x plus 3 so del of 1 by x plus 2 which is equal to function of x plus 1 minus f of x so it is equal to function of x plus 1 is 1 by x plus 3 f of x value is 1 by x plus 2. This is equation number 4. So, 3 equations, 3 and 4 in equation number 2. So, equation number 2 is delta of 1 by x plus 1 minus delta of 1 by x plus 2. So, delta of 1 by x plus 1 can be taken as delta of 1 by x plus 1 is 1 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 1. So, 1 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 1 minus of del of 1 by x plus 2 is 1 by x plus 3 minus 1 by x plus 2. So, minus 1 by x plus 3 minus 1 by x plus 2. Again, which implies 1 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 1 so my minus is multiplying throughout by the right hand side terms so 1 by x plus 3 plus 1 by x plus 2 so which implies 1 by x plus 2 1 by x plus 2 adding these two terms 2 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 3 so we have to take the LCM x plus 2 x plus 1 x plus 3 so x plus 2 is already there in the denominator so numerator is multiplying by x plus 1 into x plus 3 so 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3 minus 1 into again x plus 1 is already there so we have to multiply x plus 2 into x plus 3 again minus 1 into x plus 3 is already there so we have to multiply remaining two terms x plus 2 into x plus 1 by x plus 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3 next term which implies 2 into multiply these two terms so x into x x square x into 3 3 x 1 into x x 1 into 3 3 minus of again multiply again these two terms x square x square plus 3 x plus 2 x plus 6 minus 1 into minus 1 into uh, x into x x square x into 1 x 2 into x 2 x 2 into 2 into 1 divided by x plus 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3 next next step 2 times of uh, x square x square plus 3 x plus x is 4 x plus 3 minus of x square 3x plus 2x is 5x plus 6 minus x square x plus 2x is 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3 next step multiplying by 2 first term multiplying by 2 so 2x square 8x plus 6 again minus x square minus 5x minus 6 again minus x square minus 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 
into x plus 1 into x plus 3. Next step. So, first step 2x square minus x square minus x square is minus 2x square. So, minus 2x square plus 2x square is cancelled. Again, 8x minus 5x minus 3x is minus 8x. So, plus 8x minus 8x is cancelled. Last one. 6 minus 6 is cancelled. So, remaining only one term is remaining is minus 2. So, the result is minus 2 divided by x plus 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3. This is the final answer.